Welcome back everybody to another edition of Can You Reach the Summit in our Explore the Summit series that we're doing this fall where we showcase all nine of our Summit League members. This week we're taking a look at Western Illinois and today on the show we are joined by Western Illinois volleyball player Abby Knoop. Abby, welcome to the show and just tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Abby Knoop and I'm a senior this year on the Western Illinois volleyball team. Um, I graduated in May with a marketing degree and I'm currently working on my MBA. Uh, I'm from West Branch, Iowa and that's a little bit about me. <laughs> gotcha. So what's what do you want to do with uh, your marketing degree and your MBA? Um, I really want to work in sports marketing or do like facility management, something along those lines. So hopefully that works out. Yeah, absolutely. Good deal. Good deal. Well, your game show, we're going to we're gonna ask you 10 questions. You get nine multiple choice and one true or false. There's a wide range of categories. There's uh, questions about campus. There's some summer league history questions. We throw in a pop culture question, a US geography question just for fun. Um, we ask you a little bit about yourself. We get to know some of the history of the volleyball program too. So we'll just take a little run at this, see how you do and have a little fun along the way. All right, let's go, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, Abby, the real question is, can you reach the summit? We're going to find out. So the first question is a campus uh, tradition question. Before unifying as the Fighting Leathernecks prior to 2009, the women's teams at Western Illinois were known as A, the Westies, B, the Lady Necks, C, Bulldogs, or D, Westerwinds? Um, I haven't heard of some of those, so I'm going to go with B, Lady Necks. All right, it is not the lady next. Oh, um, I haven't heard of any of these. Um, I don't think it'd be bold. Uh, let's go with A. It is not oh. the Westie. So here's the deal you get. C or D, if you get it right, you get 50 points. If you don't get it right, you get zero. So no pressure, um, but you don't think it's Bulldogs, so maybe go with the other one. Yeah, let's go with Western Winds. It is the Western Winds, so that's a little. See, you're, you're learning stuff about Western Illinois yeah. you never do, so. I've never heard that before. So now you have something to go back and share with your volleyball teammates that you guys could have been known as the Western Winds. Right. All right, 50 points, you're on the board, so that's. that's Start. <laughs> All right, here's the one about the colors of the school. All right, WIU's purple comes from this flower, which prominently features that color. It's from the early 1900s, your colors were picked as purple and gold. Is it from A, the sunflower, B, the mountain cornflower, C, the coneflower, or D, the geranium? Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> We'll go with D. Geranium? Oh my god. Not God's. geranium. I do not know my flowers. Um definitely not sunflower. There's not purple in that. Um let's go with C. It is yeah. the cone flower. So 75 points, complete guess. But I like it. There's some there's some <laughs> purple in that. These are all facts that I read after Google and Western Illinois traditions and facts. So yeah. You want to learn more about Western Illinois, that's all you have to do. Google is a great source. So, <laughs> D. Coneflower, you got 125 points through two questions. Not too bad. Let's see uh, question number three, another campus-related question. All right. Have you ever done this in the fall on your campus? Which building allows WIU students to rappel down during the fall semester? Is it A, Lapis Library, B, Saley Hall, D. Simpkins Hall or D. Sherman Hall? Um, this question compliments of Matt Hutchison from the Sports Information Department. So you can thank him if you, if you don't get it right. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Are on campus during the fall semester? Do you know all four of those buildings? Yeah, Sherman Hall is like the main building. I, it's kind of, I don't know, Simpkins. 
The library is called Mall Pass Library. Oh, I meant that. The question was it supposed to say Mall Pass? Yeah, it was. Yes, okay. Um, I don't know why I thought Lapis. Maybe I was thinking that the old Villanova had <laughs> men's basketball coach. Uh, I got confused. Uh, but hey, so let's eliminate Lapis. We'll give you that one. Eliminate A, because that is not <laughs> the right answer. And to say, is that a trick question? Um, let's go with Sherman Hall. All right, it is not Sherman Hall, but you're right. That's the main main building on campus. Ryan Du Bois had a question about Sherman Hall as well. So, um, I don't know what goes on in Staley Hall. Um, let's go with C. Okay. It was it's Staley. It's Staley Hall. Dang it. He, he sent me a fun question, so I went with it, but I guess they allow people to rappel down the building, so huh. if I you're looking watch. for something to do this fall on, in Macomb, I guess you can rappel down Staley Hall. Didn't All right, 175 points. Let's <laughs> talk about Western Illinois and the campus. What's, what are some of your favorite things about it, and what brought you to, to school there? The main thing that brought me here was um, being close to home and the atmosphere. I loved the atmosphere. I loved how small the campus was, but you get like a big school feel. Um, my favorite parts about campus is probably the Chick-fil-A. It's definitely my favorite part. <laughs> and Western Hall. I spend most of my time in Western Hall, so the, I love the facilities here too. Nice. Chick-fil-A is a, it's a good, good stuff. We're getting one in Sioux Falls. We haven't had one, so we're we're all pretty excited about that. There's a couple in, there's one in Vermilion and one in Brookings where South Dakota and South Dakota State are. It's kind of probably similar to what you guys have on campus at Macomb, but we're getting a full-fledged one here in Sioux Falls, so we're, we're excited about that. Um, cool, good stuff. Um, you mentioned um, major and what you want to do there, and sounds like Western Hall is probably a good spot for you to learn a little bit about facility management. Seems like a lot of stuff goes on in Western Hall. I do an internship with the uh, marketing, the athletic marketing department here. So I'm getting some experience there as well. I help with like basketball event management, um, coordinating events and all that stuff, so. Good, super stuff. Yes. All right, we're shifting gears from campus. You got 175 points from the three campus questions. Let's see how you do with a little pop culture question. How well do you know your Kardashian? Which one of these is not one of the names of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's children? Is it A, Chicago, B, North, C, Sapphire, or D, Song? D. D? Yes. It's, Song is actually one of their children's names. Um, well, it's definitely North. Oh, I'm gonna go C. Okay. Is not. So you got, oh, you got 75 out of that one. So I don't keep up with Kardashians either. So <laughs> no, no harm done there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> U.S. geography. Let's see. How we, this is completely random. So take a stab at it. Which state has the most water located within it? Is it A, Michigan, B, Minnesota, C, California, or D, Alaska? Um, Minnesota's like the 15,000 lakes or something. So I'm going to go with that, B. That was, that was a tricky little bit. It's not Minnesota. Located within it. Oh my goodness. These are hard. Um, <laughs> I, I'm getting accused of, I've had to make them harder. I'm probably <laughs> being too hard. Um, California and Alaska are like surrounded by it, but I don't know if it's in it. Um, let's go with Alaska. It is the Alaska. <laughs> Minnesota was thrown in there, ten, landed 10,000 lakes, thought it might throw you off, it did. So we got you a little bit, but you got it right second time, so 75. More points. All right, campus. Pop culture, U.S. geography are all wiped out. Let's move to some Summit League questions. All right. There's been lots of several schools in the state of Illinois that have been Summit League members. They're not currently Summit League members, but which one of these 
has never been a part of our league? Is it A, Chicago State, B, Illinois State, C, Illinois, Chicago, or D, Eastern Illinois? Wow. Um, I am giving you time. This is tough. <laughs> um, I feel like Illinois State has always been part of the Valley, so I'm going to go with B. Good answer. 100 points. Good job. Good job. See, you know, you, you know your stuff. A little bit. said that was hard. Good job. <laughs> Good job on that one. So you said you're from Iowa. How, how close to Macomb are you? What's the drive home for you? Um, it's about a little under two and a half hours, so it's not too bad. Right. It's kind of a perfect distance where you can get home in a in a little bit if you need to and far enough away where you can't just run home either. So Right. Like my parents can come to all my games. I can go home and watch my brothers play football and basketball and all that and get back for practice. So it, it was perfect. Good. Good good stuff. All right. This is a question by yourself. Let's see how well you know your own biography. You set your career high for kills in the match last season against this team. A, Mississippi State, B, Jackson State, C, Florida Gulf Coast, or D, Evansville? We didn't play Florida Gulf Coast last year, so definitely not that. See, I like how you're thinking these things through. That was thrown in there just to, just to see. Um... I have no idea. Um, I it was seven, if that, if that rings a bell. He had seven kills against this team. Mississippi State. Um, was it D, Evansville? It was against the Aces. Another 100 points. Nice. Good job. Seven kills against the Aces. Good job there. All right. This one's know your coach. Let's see how well you know. <laughs> Coach Stock. He came to Western Illinois from this Division Three school where he was served, where he served as the associate head coach. She's smiling. I know. I like know it. A, A Wisconsin Whitewater, B Wisconsin Lacrosse, C Wisconsin Eclair, or D Wisconsin Oshkosh. A. He's from Whitewater. Yes. He is from Wisconsin Whitewater. You're on a roll now. That's no, that's three hundred pointers. In a row, so got the mojo going. So, <laughs> Coach Stop, what this is year three for him. So you probably came to the program before him, but have been with him for two years. Year three, making progress. Um, what do you like most about playing for him? He was a great addition to our coaching staff. He's fun to be around. He's really encouraging. Uh, he's just really good at lifting us up when we're down and stuff, and that's what I really like. And he brought in cool, a good so. coach as well. So we're doing good. So, yeah, it's always good to have a, a player's coach who knows a lot, treats his players well. So good stuff there, good stuff. Right. All right, let's, uh, let's not stop the train here. You got some momentum going. Question number nine. I believe we're on question number nine. This is your true false. See if you remember from last year. Western Illinois defeated South Dakota State last season by winning in four sets at Brookings and sweeping the Jackrabbits at home. It's always a true or be false. These games are always our closest ones. Like it goes back and forth usually. But I feel like we swept them one year. But I feel like last year. Did we go to five sets both times with him? Or was that the year before? Oh, no. Um, 50-50 chance. <sighs> I'm going to go true. Should have gone false. It was a it was a five set in Brookings, and you guys swept them at home. Dang it. You thought it through, though. I thought you you're gonna get it. I was oh. like, you're on the right path. Trust your gut, right? Right. All right, final question. This is a history question. See, see how far you can go back. 
WIU was a runner-up to Northern Illinois at the inaugural volleyball championship in 1992. Way back. Probably weren't even born where yet. No, I wasn't. No, you weren't. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what seed the Leathernecks were that season? Was it the five seed, the three seed, the four seed, or the two seed? Goodness, I have no idea. Um... My go-to answer on everything, if I don't know, is C. So we're just going to go with C, number four. That was a uh, Ryan Du Bois philosophy, too. His, his <laughs> teacher, I guess, told him if he don't have any idea, go with C. But it's not C. Um, you got a couple more cracks at it. Uh, let's go with B. Three. Good job. Okay. You got it right that time. That was... Uh, Western Illinois was in the champion. Northern Illinois was the top seed. You guys were the three seed way back when. It was the first volleyball championship. I I was alive, but I wasn't around for I was 16 at the time. But regardless, um, that was just kind of a question just to get, learn a little history about Western Illinois volleyball. So for you guys, it has been since 2013 since you've been to the volleyball championship. What is it going to take for you guys to – to get there this year and to get some momentum going on the court? Uh, this is year number three under Coach Stoppy, and we have some really good incoming freshmen. I think we finally have everything we need, and with being able to practice, now we have until spring. I don't know when we're starting, January. Right. But um, yeah. I think we will have a lot of time to put together all of the components, and I think we're going to have a really good shot this year. Sounds good. I know you guys are, you know, all, all student athletes have been through a pretty trying time in 2020, just with um, seasons canceled or postponed or delayed, and everyone's kind of felt the, the effects of this pandemic. So I know that's not been the easiest, but you guys, I'm, I'm impressed with just the entirety of student athletes and their holding their heads high and, and working through this and grinding through it. So it's it's impressive what you guys are doing. I know you guys are working hard. I know you guys want to take those steps to get the program moving in the right direction there in Macomb. And I know that you're a big part of that. And this has been fun. Um, hopefully you've had fun with it. 700 points, not too shabby. I learned um, a lot, so. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's kind of what these are for. Like they're yeah. fun and challenging and hopefully you learn a thing or two that you didn't know and it's complete guesses, right? We've all been college <laughs> students before. We, like right. you said, I have no idea. I'm going with C. Sometimes <laughs> it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but right. hopefully you had fun with it. Yes, I did. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no, have a great day. Good luck with the rest of the fall semester, and we'll see you in the spring when you guys hit the, hit the courts. Yes, I'm excited. Thank you, Ryan.